now available in paperback and e-readers, Spellbound, a darker shade of black. Get your copy today at your favorite online bookseller. This is going to be part three to my video, Black on Black Love, White Supremacy, and the Gender War. And in this video, I'm going to try to give some advice to all those brothers out there who are caught up in this conflict. Now, when it comes down to this gender war, this gender war was orchestrated by white supremacists in order to gain control over the black community and the black economy, because war is the most profitable business for white supremacists, and when two sides are fighting each other, they sell both sides the guns and the butter, and then they, they make profit as these people tear each other down. And when it comes down to the black man, he believes that he has to keep going back and forth with most of these black females out here, and in many cases, most of these brothers are getting caught up in all of this gender war rhetoric. And what they don't understand is that's what that white supremacist wants you to do. He wants you to get caught up in all of that rhetoric regarding this gender war, listening to all the emotional attacks that this black woman throws at you saying N words ain't S, black men are no good, black men are trifling, and then what they want you to do is throw barbs back at them talking about how no good black women are, and as you two are fighting each other, what these white supremacists are doing is they're having their agents sell you the guns and the butter, and what are the guns and the butter in this onslaught? The guns and the butter are the propaganda that they promote like these Tyler Perry movies, these Lee Daniels movies, these Steve Harvey books, and much of what Oprah Winfrey and people like Alice Walker promote in the media. They use this media to have you guys fighting each other, going back and forth with each other. And what most black men need to understand is that with this whole gender war, if you continue to engage this female in a back and forth, you are doing exactly what this white supremacist wants you to do. And what that's doing is enriching him at your expense. That's why you have to change your campaign in dealing with this black female. And in order to deal with the black female in this gender war, you have to love her. And when you love her, you love her enough to tell her the truth about things. Because when it comes down to many of these black females, they have been indoctrinated into this white feminism and they have been taught self-hatred and you have to love her enough to tell her what's going on and continue to tell her what's going on in spite of all the angry rhetoric she throws at you. You have to continue breaking down facts because some of these sisters out here are starting to get it regarding what white supremacy wants to do with this gender war and as they continue, as you continue to keep hitting them with facts some of them are going to come around because they have been miseducated and misled in the same way I just talked about with the Eastian character in The Temptation of John Hay. She was caught up in a lot of stuff regarding false concepts and that's what led her to hate herself and it wasn't until John Hay showed her enough love that she saw an example of what a black man really was that she was able to see what a black man was and then turn against the programming that Lucifer put in her mind. The same thing with this black female. She has to be continue, you have to continue to stand strong and continue to try to support her even though she is working against her. This is what I mean by a black man fighting against these black females while fighting for them. You're fighting against the programming that white supremacy has put into the black female's mind and you're fighting against this rhetoric and propaganda that many of these black feminists are promoting to black women because that's why I say the black feminist is a white supremacist because she is about promoting and perpetuating the ideologies of white supremacy and continuing to promote the campaign of the gender war against the black man and then turn more black women against the black man. Moreover, there are other agents out to continue to be agents of white supremacy like these swirlers like these twerkers, and all these black females are programmed to promote propaganda and rhetoric which make the black man look bad and make the black man look like a demon and make the black man look like an enemy. And some of them are out here to promote self-hatred so that the black female will believe that she has to change her image to fit within white society and be a part
part of white society instead of accepting herself for who she truly is. So the black man has to continue to keep dropping information on black females because that shows how much we love them to tell them the truth about things and to tell them that this is what the what things really are like. Because what's happening with a lot of these black men these days is that they're getting caught up in the rhetoric and they're getting caught up in the emotions of these females. And instead of them trying to fight against the propaganda of white supremacy and the agents of white supremacy, which are these black feminists and the programming that's in the black female's mind, they're trying, they're getting personal and fighting the black females. And that further perpetuates the gender war in the black community. Because when it comes down to this female, she has been turned into an enemy by white supremacy. But black men have to stand strong and show her the love in order to get try to break this whole cycle. Because when it comes down to this female, she originally was the most loving person out here. But the big problem was we had an entire generation of women who were manipulated by white supremacists who took advantage of their hypergamy and then used that as a way to try to get them, to graft them into the white supremacist system and then turn them against the black men. And most black men, they're getting caught up in this rhetoric and they're starting to turn against their, against black women. And that's what white supremacists want to do because white supremacy wants to erase the black race from the planet. They want to make efforts to eradicate the black race from the planet. This is why they go out of their way to promote things like black women with white men and they go out of their way to promote black men with white women because they want to try to e genetically erase the black race. And even in countries like Africa, we have all these Asians out there. They're going to countries in Africa and they're going and they're dropping illegitimate babies in Africa who are half black and half Asian. Again, this is all meant to eugenically erase the black race. And part of that plan, again, is this gender war in America where they have the black man and the black woman working against each other. But the black man has to love this black woman enough to set aside his feelings and set aside his emotions to understand that if he truly cares about his community, his race, and black women, that he has to love her enough to do what is right for her. And when he does what is right for her, which is love her in spite of the rhetoric, in spite of all of her actions, what he does is he shows the black-on-black -black love that the old-school black community did. Because with true black-on-black -black love, it, it's, it's a love that goes greater than anything out here and overcomes hatred. And the only way for black people to really overcome white supremacy is not to go out here and talk about like the pro-blacks with the war. The only way to overcome white supremacy is with black love. Because White supremacy is a campaign of hatred against black people, both black men and black women. And the whole part, or point of white supremacy is to destroy black on black love so that black people will hate themselves and then go out here and destroy themselves. And that's what people are doing with this gender war, destroying themselves and destroying their culture and their race and elevating white culture and white supremacy as social norms. And it takes black men loving black women and loving them enough to fight against the dysfunctional black females and the dysfunctional black culture to fight for black love. And that shows how much black men love black women. Now, again, a lot of these black men are getting caught up in rhetoric and they're misinterpreting things like MGTOW. Now, MGTOW is a defense that black men are participating in because they want to be able to protect themselves from the rhetoric of the gender war. They want to protect themselves from the propaganda of the gender war. And they feel like they, they have no, op a lot of guys, they feel like they have no option. However, MGTOW is for defense. It's about regrouping, laying a strategy where you develop yourself, put yourself first, and you start focusing on what you want to accomplish because you love yourself enough to do what is right for you. And you love these black women enough to do what is right for them eventually those who want to go and pursue relationships with women that is their right under MGTOW but it's not a campaign to call ourselves hating women because 
A MGTOW is different from a misogynist. A misogynist is a man who hates women. A MGTOW is a man who is adopting a philosophy where he is going his own way, doing his own thing, and seeking to accomplish what he accomplishes in life. And if he chooses to have relationships with women, that is his choice. It is not something related to hating women or disliking women. It is avoiding dysfunctional females and dysfunctional female relationships and dysfunctional relationship paradigms to choose an approach that works better for that man. And this is something guys need to understand about MGTOW. A lot of them are getting caught up again in rhetoric and propaganda about MGTOW, but they're not understanding the philosophy behind the MGTOW approach. Now, as a guy who has been a part of the MGTOW approach for over 25 years, I understand it a little better, and that's why I'm trying to teach these guys out here that it's not about woman hate, it's about man love, and it's about men loving themselves. And if these men want to share black on black love with a black woman, that is their choice. And it, it, it takes a real man of character to share black on black love with a woman. And it takes a man of extremely great character to go out here and stand up for black women and fight against those bad black women in order to fight for the decent sisters out here. That takes tremendous character. That takes tremendous resolve, and that's a man I would respect greatly because that man loves black women just as much as I love black women to tell them the truth and to tell these brothers the truth about what they need to do out here because the only way you can overcome white supremacy is to spread black-on-black -black love, share black-on-black -black love, and participate in black-on-black -black love because white supremacy's hatred cannot defeat black on black love because black on black love is just too strong for anything to really overcome it and once you've experienced it you will never want to ever let it go if you want to see me make more videos like this you can donate to my patreon by clicking the link in the description box and if you want to try the temptation of john haynes and learn more about black on black love or you want to try Spinsterella or Recipe for Success and read more about a black on black love story, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com to purchase all those books. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.